Hey guys, I'm J Mac. This is Raid Shadow Legends, and we have the Bounty Deck of Fate, which we can get points from getting artifacts and summoning champions. That's what we're going to do because I got a two times chance epic legendary for ancient shards. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. If you celebrate it, I am exhausted from mine. Turkey for two days, and man, it wears on you. Crowd in the blue be a dupe. Got him the other day working on getting him leveled up. I don't think the other two anything special. Not really looking for anything particular. I'll just be happy with anything I get. Let's ride that blue wave. Anyways, I hope if you're pulling, um, get something useful, something cool, something new. Looks like right now I'm just getting a lot of food. Let's go a little faster. Hmm. Hey. Okay. Elagias. I don't think is that good. But let's look here. But I think I have a six star awakening for um this thing. <laughs> I always thought it looked creepy with the tongue. Alright, A1 attacks one enemy, can place a block active skill for one turn. Chance increases by 0.75% uh, for every 1% HP this champion loses. So low percent, but can get higher if you don't have, or if you lost HP. Because A2 only attacks one enemy, puts target skills on cooldown, and places a blocks buff for two turns. If the enemy team has any duplicates as champ of the target champion, will also put their skills on cooldown. That's kind of interesting. That might help in some waves. You get uh, like Doom Tower waves. You get duplicates of a couple of champions that can kind of be a pain in the butt. All right, then the A3 attacks all enemies. Let's see, can remove two buffs and can decrease turn meter. And it can do more turn meter if buffs are removed. That sounds like a pretty decent support. All right. Let's see. What was the cooldowns? So the A2 has a four turn cooldown. Books down to three turn. The A3 goes down to a four turn cooldown. Okay, passive. Um, keeps champion alive to one HP when hit with a fatal hit. Then if the skill prevents champion's death, heals them by 30%, fills turn meter, and places a shield. Will not prevent this champion's death there under a heal reduction debuff. Hey, that's kind of interesting. Looks like a the movie Aliens. Alien baby right there. <laughs> hey, all right, I got a legendary, and I do want to just check real quick because I am pretty positive I have the six star awakening yes all right well i'm happy i get to use that so that's all i get today i guess it's decent a little quicker all right um i think hexia can do some cool stuff i can't remember decrease defense can do an extra turn I can't remember. I'm once I've heard her name before. All right, let's go. Well, at least getting some epics going. Uh, nothing I really want to get into right now. Let's see if we can get one more Lego. One more. Don't think so. Maybe. Come on. Oh, I'm about ready for a nap, though. I need to start paying attention more to the epics and rares as to which ones um, I need for that mythical fusion. Dudan the Runic. I'm pretty sure he's new. Oh, he looks kind of wicked. All the skulls inside. Reminds me a little bit of a Berengeri, just 
big and then got the flame coming around them. Huh, that's crazy. Alright, uh, A1 attacks one enemy, can remove a random debuff from all allies. That's pretty handy. The A2 goes to, stays on a four turn cooldown. That's no fun. An AoE places shield on all allies equal to 15% champion's max HP. Increases duration of all buffs. So build him up with a ton of HP. Did decent shield. Uh, places a taunt. And also places strengthen and counterattack. Three turn cooldown. So counterattacking. And then you can get to remove a lot of debuffs possibly. Uh, increases ally defense in all battles for the aura. That's a kind of cool support. Getting that, that taunt with the counterattack and the strength in, you know, you're going to want a lot of HP for that shield. So I can see him coming in handy. You know, I like his three turn cooldown when booked. Huh. Maybe one day I'll get to play around with him some. All right, let's see. Eight more. Can we get gold? Well, let me know if you pulled this weekend. If the times two was on for you. I think it definitely is for the epics. Got a decent amount. And then I was needing more rare champions for food for the next uh, fusion, possibly. Hope we get a cool Christmas fusion. And a fusion where it's you have plenty of chances to get what you need for the fusion. And that the champion doesn't get buffed during the fusion after you've made your decision. Whether or not you want to go for him. Which, I mean, I guess whether they do it in the middle of the fusion or six months after the fusion, it kind of doesn't matter. You made your choice not to get it, but that's a whole other deal. Alright, um, I do have a primal shard. Let's pop it. Can we get mythical? Nope. <laughs> Another health thing. All right, so six sacreds, 28 voids. I will save those. Um, let's look here. Oh, sorry, get red dots out of the way. What do I get? To, oh, I actually get to flip 14 cards. Man, I hadn't got to do this in a while. Usually I've only been able to flip like five or six. Um, let's just start here in the middle. Ooh, mythical weapon. That's cool. And no really rhyme or reason. Hey, epic tome, I'll take that. To my flipping, just random ones, I guess. Five star speed glyph, I like that. Um, another mythical. Let's see, four more. Let's do. A corner there. Two more. Go out there. Just spread it out a little bit. Um, whoa! Is that a mythical tome? For the mythical champion that I may never get? Oh, I need more. Hey, that's... I'm kind of digging that. So let's see here. Oh, not that. Go tavern skills. Hey. Ah, like that. So I got Mythical Tome and let's see what new champions did I get. I guess I got more than I realized. Okay, I didn't know that I didn't have Jotun. Jotun? Let's see. Oh, that's the little bitty decreased defense. That's no fun. Another attacks one enemy, attacks one enemy. Uh, just quick run through him. I didn't see anything special. Let's see. Okay, C's. I guess I didn't realize I didn't have him either. Attacks one enemy. Attacks one enemy three times. Um, I remember seeing somebody doing video on him, so he may be kind of cool. I may look at him later. I'm more excited about my Lego 
Elagias just being able to uh, use a six star awakening. Oh man, I got a lot of new champs. Okay, Grizzled Yarl. I'm not gonna go through everything and then Silver and Watchers, yeah, Dudan. Alright. So several new champs. Got a Lego I can use the waking with, so again, if you're pulling, I hope you have good luck like I did. That's nice when you get something new, something you don't have. And then getting that mythical tome for one day. I mean, I know it's not going to be like next month. Probably not. But I know one day I'll be able to do this fusion. Um, just takes time. So, very, very cool. I'll have, how many, I wonder how many books she takes. One, two, three, four. So just four books. I guess if, if they keep doing events like that, there's a chance I'll have the books I need to uh, fully book her whenever I get her. So, all right. Not a bad full time. And I think I'm going to save those. So, all right. That's all I'm doing today. So, hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Hope you're having fun playing Raid. We'll see you next time.